Puerto Ricans have been moving in and out of the mid-state for years, usually for economic reasons. Brian Seguera Vasquez left the island last year after graduating high school, leaving behind his mother and siblings. He found his way to Lebanon in September, just before Hurricane Maria hit. Brian saw in the news how bad it was, but he couldn't get in touch with his family. And I was really worried because I didn't know how she was for a month. During the storm, his mother Sandra was very afraid. It sounded like the windows would shatter. I thought the door would blow open. Water was getting into the house. Afterward, she just wanted to be able to tell her son she was okay. It was horrible for us not to be able to speak. I would go out on the mountain looking for the highest peak, playing with the phone, trying to find a signal to communicate. After I heard from her, I felt so relieved because she was okay. But things weren't going well. Sandra's home was damaged, and she couldn't get help from the Federal Emergency Management Agency to repair it. The schools were closed, and she was worried about her children. She found a program that would fly her family from the island to Florida and enroll her kids in school. But once she got to West Palm Beach, she cried every day. I was totally disoriented because I didn't know who I could trust, who I could confide in. I didn't know where to go. I was lost. FEMA put them up in a hotel, but time was short. Brian was working to bring his family to him. I was working and trying to save to bring them here because I knew FEMA assistance would run out at any moment. The reunion was emotional. I looked at him and I said, I can't believe you're my son. Look how big you are. You look different, like another person. And I felt a lot of joy. A lot, a lot of joy. And I looked at him and kept looking and I said to my boy, well, not my boy, he's already a man. I said to him, you're very handsome. <laughs> Brian says it was a huge challenge to find a place to live in Lebanon because he's so young and was only working a temporary job at the time. The family spent a month living in a single room in the home of a local youth pastor. Finally, they found a landlord who gave them a month-to-month -month lease. Sandra hopes to work as a nurse again, but it will be difficult. To transfer her license, she has to retake a test, and to do that, she needs to learn English. But she's determined. You have to go on. Rise up. If you fall, get up. I have to move forward with more strength.